Hi, YouTubers and wet shavers everywhere. It's MargaretGeorgeTune.com. I'm back with a new feature I'm calling Monday Morning Mailbag. Yeah, start your week off right. Get yourself a cup of coffee with me. Kick back. I'm going to go through some of the questions and comments on my channel and answer some of these. Maybe you didn't see the answers that I posted. Maybe I skipped over them and, and failed to give someone an answer. So this is a, just a chance to kind of catch up and uh, share some answers and some other ideas about wet shaving and uh, really comment below and uh, please uh, contribute to the conversation because you know we'll all learn from it. Um, so let's just get right to it. I've got uh, some of these listed right here on my tablet. Uh, Wash, Washim 007, W-A-S-H-I-M 007 writes, how many hours does this last? He's speaking in regards to a review I did on Stetson Cooling moisture aftershave. Uh, you know what? I've really never timed it. Maybe an hour, maybe less. I really, I really haven't timed this. This has got a great scent, though. Anything that uh, that I've purchased in the seven, eight, nine, ten, fifteen, sixteen dollar range uh, really performs nicely. But it, you know, it doesn't last all day per se. It'll last for some time. Again, I've never really timed it, but um, this is a good one, and I believe it's alcohol-free. I'll use this after a head shave, and it really does a nice job of adding moisture uh, to my scalp, and uh, it's just a really wonderful, wonderful scent. Very masculine. I like that. Speaking of masculine, he goes on to say, which is the longest-lasting good masculine smelly <laughs> aftershave? Well, as I say, this one is good. But the two that I found that uh, are very popular and that I like as well, uh, the first one is the uh, Clubman Pinot. This is terrific. This has got a classic old school barbershop scent and also the Clubman Bay Rum. This is the Virgin Island Bay Rum. This is really terrific stuff. Both of these are very, very good. Now, as far as being long lasting, again, I've never really timed it, but um, it stays with me uh, a, a good while. I can't really put a, a, a number of minutes or a number of hours on it. However, these two seem to be the only ones that'll come back during the day. The scent will just waft up out of nowhere. You know, maybe two o'clock in the afternoon, three o'clock in the afternoon, all of a sudden, I'll just get, I'll just catch that scent rising up. I don't know if it's because my body's heating up and it just activates that aftershave that's on my skin again. I don't know what it is, but these will, uh, all of a sudden, they'll reactivate and uh, I'll get that great Clubman scent from, from both of those. So those are the only two that I've really had that experience with. Um, hey Mark, this is from Glenn T. Hey Mark, great video, thumbs up. Thank you, Glenn. I have not flown in years. I rather drive. You mentioned about taking a safety razor on planes. Since I don't fly, I don't know, but are safety razors not allowed on planes anymore? What if you don't have any blades and just the safety razor? Or will they confiscate your razor? Well, I'll have a link to the TSA guidelines regarding a safety razor and blades um, in carry-on and checked luggage. The bottom line is uh, you are not allowed to take loose razor blades in a uh, carry-on bag. In a check bag, they're fine. In a carry-on bag, loose razor blades like these are a big no-no. Now, as far as a safety razor like this, um, three piece or twist to open. Uh, you know, I've seen some comments online from uh, wet shavers that said that it, the safety razor without blades in their dop kit, in their carry on bag, went through security with no problems. And some others have said it was confiscated. Uh, so I guess it's going to depend on the TSA agent. But um, as far as carry on, um, you, cannot, you cannot have loose blades. Uh, safety razor, you know what? Um, I really don't know. That's going to be kind of a judgment call by a TSA agent, I would think. Um, however, if you do want to take a safety razor in your carry-on bag, get something like this. This is the, the Global Shave Black Tiger from Sheldon Quinn. This is a $10 razor. This is terrific. It gives a wonderful shave. It's got that low-profile razor head like a Gillette Tech, right? And it's a three-piece razor, nice heft, nice weight. Uh, great, great coating, great, great plating on this. It's just a steel razor. It's uh, very inexpensive, and it gives a really nice close shave. Uh, 
and it's again it's only ten dollars so if, if you do pack something like this in a carry-on bag and they confiscate it you're only out ten dollars you know do not take a 75 dollar mercure futur or a, or your 65 dollar 60 to 65 dollar uh, vikings blade emperor uh, adjustable razor uh, you don't want to have those confiscated for sure but the only uh, razor that you can take in a carry-on bag that is acceptable is a cartridge a cartridge razor like this the Dorco Pay 7 which is a very nice razor and uh, although I love using a safety razor there are times when this is gonna have to suffice if you're doing a weekend getaway you're flying someplace for the weekend and you're just gonna take one bag and it's a carry-on bag just take this and that way you won't have to worry about buying razor blades at your destination leave the safety razor at home and take this if you're gonna be gone for a week maybe you're going to Aruba or some you know exotic location like that then uh, you can pack your safety razor and blades in your checked luggage uh, that'll definitely work but for me if uh, if I were to fly I haven't flown in a number of years but uh, the times that I do fly I have flown I like to have that dot kit that toiletry kit in my carry-on bag so that when I get to my destination I have it right there with me so I can freshen up get a shave before I go out to dinner in the evening uh, or some big event that's lined up something like that and I'd hate to have that in a checked bag where it could be misplaced and I'd be delayed in getting to me and that's happened before and you know it's, it just it just happens so that's kind of the long and short of it check the link to the TSA below and uh, that'll give you more information but loose blades like this are a no-no in carry-on bags. Safety razor, you know, flip a coin, carry-on bag. Cartridge razor, absolutely acceptable in a carry-on bag. All right. Um, uh, <clears throat> this is from Spence1000. I have used this, treating it as a pre-shave, actually, as I feel it performs that same function as other pre-shave oils lathering over with cream and or soap yeah he's speaking in regards to this shave secret shave secret is for for shaving uh this is uh, uh i've done review on this and this was remarkably good all you need is uh, say four or five drops and then you work it in and massage it into your skin and then you go ahead and get your your razor and shave and it does a remarkably good job but uh spence 1000 here is saying that he uses this as a pre-shave oil, and uh, no rule says you can't, and uh, that is something that I should investigate also in a future video, so thanks for that. And uh, it really would make a great pre-shave oil, and I would think you wouldn't need as much, maybe you would need two drops rather than uh, four or five for a shave, just uh, maybe two to three drops for acting as a pre-shave and then lather over it. Uh, so yeah, very, very good tip, uh, Spence1000. Thanks very much for that. I really do appreciate that. Um, uh, Nuggets Hoopster writes, uh, Hi, Mark. Big fan of your videos. All the best to you. P.S. Are you from or live in the Midwest? I hear that charming accent. <laughs> well, uh, yeah, I'm in Northeast Ohio. And when you say, uh, and thanks very much for the compliment, I appreciate it. When you say charming accent, uh, I've always been told that Northeast Ohio here, Greater Cleveland area, Northeast Ohio, Akron, Youngstown, uh, all the way up into Ashtabula County, this whole area here in Northeast Ohio, uh, we speak what is known as standard American English. That's what I've always been told, that um, the people in this area of the country uh, speak the kind of English that is taught worldwide as far as pronunciation and word usage. That's what I've always been told. Interestingly, because I'm in Ohio and Columbus is right in the center of Ohio, um, the uh, uh, I-70, which is uh, the interstate that goes um, east to west across the state of Ohio and through Columbus, I-70 is kind of the dividing line for... Uh, language and dialect here in Ohio. If you are, if you live north of I-70, you tend to speak the way I speak. If you're south, then you have more of a, um, there's more of a southern West Virginia, Kentucky influence on the language. I've always found that to be uh, really kind of remarkable uh, that uh, just two and a half hours, three hours away that the language starts to change a little bit in word usage and maybe uh, 
a little bit of a drawl, that kind of thing, which, which is kind of neat. But no, thanks very much. I, I appreciate the compliment. Uh, that's very nice of you. Yeah, so I'm in Northeast Ohio in the greater Cleveland area, I guess you would say, and um, standard American English. I've never, regardless of the accent, but yes, people from other parts of the world or other parts of the country, when they speak to me, they immediately know, Cleveland, you're from Cleveland. And uh, I guess it's distinct. Uh, we don't, you know, living amongst ourselves, we don't, we don't recognize it as readily. So uh, thanks very much for that. Okay, Occam Collage uh, sent this. Thanks very much, Occam. I hope I pronounced your name right. It's A-C-H-I-M. I'm assuming it's Occam. And K-O-H-L-H-A-G-E. Occam Collage. Uh, thanks uh, for mentioning this. It must be mentioned endlessly. That's in regards to a, a video and proper prep and that sort of thing. Shaving cream or foam out of spray cans are awful, disgusting, and doubtful results. Yeah, whole point of doing the traditional wet shave. Uh, as Occam points out here, is to do the proper prep. Get a good pre-shave, pre-shave oil, build a good lather, you know, get it on your face with a brush and uh, get a good razor and a good blade and just enjoy the process, but do that proper prep. Make sure you take a hot shower so you soften the beard a little bit. All this comes into play, absolutely. Um, he goes on to say, is there anything better than a traditional shave with pre-shave procedure, shave, aftershave treatment? I can't imagine. Neither can I. I mean, <laughs> that really is, it's a great process. It really, really is. And I know that um, some out there like the cartridge razor because it's, it's quick. You can throw something on your face and then just shave right through it. Uh, if you're pressed for time, I understand that. But... You know, get up 20 minutes earlier and do the traditional wet shave. It really is a wonderful, wonderful process. Uh, <clears throat> he goes to say, I can't imagine anything being better. It might even have higher status than sex with my wife. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, always appreciate your chapters. I'm thinking he's talking about the uh, various uh, uh, videos. Uh, and you talk the truth, straightforward. Congratulations and cheers from the Lion City. Uh, that's Singapore. Singapore is the Lion City. Um, I, I, I looked that up on Google and that was uh, very nice of you to say that, Akim. I really do appreciate it. Uh, really nice to see you on my channel. A uh, really nice viewer. Um, well, that wraps it up for a Monday morning mailbag. Thanks very much for tuning in. I really do appreciate it. I'm going to try and set up a, an exclusive email address so that you can email questions and comments uh, for this particular program. Uh, and I look forward to all of them. And, uh, you know, we'll explore more about the wet shaving world and just a little bit of chit chat of uh, things that might be happening out there. So I look forward to all your questions and comments. And don't forget, you can also comment below. Well, that's it for now. Really, thanks very, very much. Um, check out my blog, as always, georgetune.com slash blog. For my comic strip, George, other cartoons, other videos like this. Check out my Amazon page. Amazon.com slash shop slash Mark Zeray, where I list all the um, all the products that I've reviewed on this channel. And uh, thanks again for tuning in. Make it a great week.